Hey, it's Matthew again. Today we will talk about Celine Dion's glamorous life. Please like and subscribe to be notified whenever we drop another content. Celine Dion has seen the kind of success most could only dream of experiencing in a lifetime. Since embarking on her music career at just 12 years old, as noted by biography, she sold millions of albums. And although she may not be royalty, the successful singer certainly lives like a queen. Between her affinity for footwear and her eye for detail when it comes to building the perfect home, there's few aspects of Dion's life that don't symbolize her expensive taste. And while the Today Show praised her for being the genuine real deal during their 2019 interview, Dion still flaunts her money like it's her business. After all, she's earned it. If you take a look at her most lavish purchases through the years, some are so remarkable that, for most of us, it's hard to wrap our minds around them. But these luxuries are just another day in the life of this singer. Without further ado, here's a deep dive into Celine Dion's insanely glamorous life. Are you aware that Celine Dion is one of the highest paid female singers in the world? Well, having a disposable income certainly helps when it comes to living a glamorous lifestyle, and Celine Dion's is limitless. She has consistently topped Forbes' list of highest paid female musicians, with her 2019 slot landing her in ninth place. So, what does one have to make to be considered one of the richest female singers on the globe? Forbes reported that Dion brought home a cool $37.5 million that year. Dion also landed a spot on the list in 2018, making a whopping $31 million that year. The preceding year, she was in the top five highest paid female musicians, Forbes revealed, with $42 million in revenue under her belt. Evidently, racking in millions is the norm for Dion each calendar year. Much of Dion's income stemmed from her flourishing Las Vegas residency, which had fans from all over flocking to Sin City. In fact, the singer broke records with her show sales. Her two residencies, A New Day and Celine, combined to gross $681.3 million according to The Hollywood Reporter. While most people gamble their money away in Vegas, Dion cashed in big time, enabling her to live even more glamorously than ever. There's extravagant and then there's the house Celine Dion had built. While the singer has owned, and still owns, a number of properties, her South Florida residence was by far one of the most jaw-dropping. As Business Insider reported, Dion and her late husband Rene Angelil first purchased the lot for $12.5 million in 2005. They then upgraded to an even bigger space in 2008 by purchasing the nearby mansion. And, from there, they built the house mansion of their dreams. I hope you love our content so far. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to be notified whenever we drop another content. The property boasts over 5 acres in land in total and is situated on ultra-private Jupiter Island. According to Variety, the expansive estate has endless amenities including 14 bathrooms, an in-home theater, 5 fireplaces, and the outside is only even more lavish. Dion installed a tennis pavilion, a simulated golf range, and a pool house with a full kitchen. Dion went on to sell the property in April 2017, but, unfortunately, the time she had put into the property didn't exactly pay off as she'd hoped. The house was listed for $72 million, but Dion ultimately settled for $38.5 million, Variety reported. Are you aware that Celine Dion built a water park on one of her properties? While most kids cross their fingers for a pool, Celine Dion's children grew up with a full-blown water park at their house. The singer implemented the park into her Jupiter Island residence, and it was nothing short of extraordinary. According to House Beautiful, Dion's at-home water park boasted two swimming pools, a lazy river, multiple water slides, and water cannons. The pool system required so much water to run, 500,000 gallons in fact, that Dion was actually fined by the state, NBC Miami reported. Afterward, the singer installed water storage devices on the property to hold the immense amount of water needed to keep the park up and running. Living in such extravagance can elicit criticism, but Dion makes no apologies for her pricey playground. In an interview with Jonathan Ross, Dion defended her decision to build the epic water park. Why not? Some people do drugs and go out every weekend, I built a water park, she told the TV host. It's the high life and nothing else for Celine Dion's children. When she and her husband Rene Angelil welcomed their first child, Rene Charles Angelil, in 2001, they decked out the nursery with some seriously high-priced designer items. The furnishings included a Burberry baby carriage worth $4,250, according to People. 
The nursery also featured a French provincial bassinet and a wardrobe stock with onesies that perfectly matched the color scheme of the room, blue and white. Equally as lavish was the surprise shower thrown for Dion ahead of the baby's arrival. Her friend Coco Lacrosse spoke with People magazine about the shower and revealed some of the pricey presents Dion received. One of those gifts included a handmade teddy bear from Dion's mom Therese, which was stuffed with heat beads. This baby is the most lucky child in the world, Lacroix remarked at the time. These days, Andre Lille is all grown up, but he's definitely had a glamorous life from the start, thanks to his millionaire mama. Are you aware that Celine Dion wore $3 million worth of jewelry to the 2017 Billboard Music Awards? Celine Dion is not exactly known for casual apparel. Actually, casual would probably be the worst way to describe Celine Dion's fashion looks. The singer is known to make a statement on the red carpet, and a big one at that. But some looks have been more extravagant than others. In fact, it was at the 2017 Billboard Music Awards that the singer truly took things to the next level. Dion performed at the awards ceremony that night and, according to the Daily Mail, hit the BBMA's stage dripping in $3 million worth of jewels. According to the publication, she rocked a handful of large diamond rings from Harry Kotler and paired the jewelry with a high fashion gown by Stefan Rolland, making sure all eyes were on her. It was a special night at the awards show, seeing as Dion performed her iconic hit My Heart Will Go On from the 1997's Titanic. The performance was commissioned to mark the 20th anniversary of the movie, and it's safe to say Dion looked like a million bucks the whole way through. Are you also aware that one of Celine Dion's closets includes a revolving rack and rotating shoe storage? One of the most glamorous parts of Celine Dion's life is undoubtedly her wardrobe. Not only does the star take pride in her clothing collection, she takes pride in the way she stores it. In a 2013 interview with Ellen DeGeneres, Dion revealed details behind the ultra-glamorous closet she had built in her Florida estate. The high-tech closet, which is more like a room and not a small one at that, has some pretty cool features. For one, it's rotating design. It, has, like glass doors that open, and the reason that we use that, rotating, dry cleaner thing is this is where you can hold the most clothes, she admitted. Celine Dion has also custom-made dresses from all the hottest haute couture designers. Celine Dion may be known for her singing career first and foremost, but she's also solidified herself as a true fashion icon. She has a go big or go home mentality when it comes to award show style and she's landed herself on a number of best dress lists. It's no surprise, then, that designers are lining up to dress her. According to Glamour, Dion worked with stylists Sidney Lopez and Pepe Munoz for her 2019 Fashion Week outfits and looks stunning in high-end looks from Chanel, Fendi, and a custom-made halter dress from Roseberry. That same year, Dion stunned on the Met Gala red carpet, wearing a pair of custom shoes from Chloe Gosselin. The designer talked to Footwear News about the honor of designing a shoe for the superstar. Celine Dion was one of the first customers when I launched my brand and has since continued to be an exceptional support, she said of the singer. Gosselin crafted a sparkling one-of-a-kind stiletto for Dion's Met Gala appearance, incorporating Swarovski crystals into the shoe. My team and I were ecstatic about the prospect of creating something truly special for her, she said of the look. Celine Dion jet sets across the globe on her private plane. An upgrade to first class sounds like pure luxury to most people, but for Celine Dion, that would actually be a downgrade. The star has been known to fly private when jet setting from one city to another, and she's never tried to hide her expensive habit. In February 2017, she shared a snapshot of herself preparing to board a private jet. Grammys here we come. She captioned the Instagram post. She shared a similar snap several months later when the 2017 Met Gala rolled around, again, taking flight to the prestigious ceremony in a private plane. Even while up in the air, Dion is still surrounded by opulence. According to The Telegraph, the singer's jet has several bathrooms and a full-sized kitchen. But the spacious private plane didn't come cheaply. According to the publication, Dion's jet had a reported price tag of $42 million. Are you aware that Celine Dion once lived on her own private island? Celine Dion, much like other celebrities, values her privacy. However, she values it so much, she decided to build her own private island beach house. Yes, according to the Wall Street Journal, Dion purchased an entire private island in Canada. The site reported that the singer created this private island with her husband and manager prior to his passing. The lavish estate is just 15 minutes from Montreal, 
according to the publication, but offered all the privacy in the world. However, in 2012, the pair put the home up for sale. Living on a private island comes with a hefty price tag, though, and was listed for just under $30 million. Wall Street Journal added that the island itself spans a total of 20 acres and the house Dion and her husband had built is about 24,000 square feet. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and other to be notified whenever we post another content.